What's going on everybody? Ash here, and if you've come here expecting a Game & Watch, you have come to the right place. Today I'm going to be doing a Game & Watch of the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle, which was uh, kind of a surprise announced during the recent Nintendo Direct, which is a really cool surprise. Um, I am playing it on the PS4 though, not Switch, so keep that in mind when you see the, the you know everything I'm showing off, the online and all that. It is reflective of the PS4 version, not the Switch version. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in here. I love the title screen art, by the way. This is great. Uh, looks like they Capcom commissioned completely original art uh, starring various beat em up characters, which is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's go ahead and create some save data. All right, auto save, good times. Uh, let's see here. So, gallery options. Let's check out the options menu first, just to show that off. For the language, you have uh, several different options, as you can see here. I'm gonna stick with English. Uh, we'll keep the sound levels where they are for now. And network, okay, so only one network option, and that's for frame delay, so all right. Uh, and then credits, okay, cool. Um, let's see the gallery here. Do you have to... Oh, nice, so I guess you don't have to unlock anything. Oh, that's cool. So you don't have to uh, unlock these gallery images, it sounds like. You can just go right in as soon as you buy the game and check out some concept art from your favorite Capcom beat-em-up. Very cool. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the front-end presentation already. This is this is great. Well, I will definitely be taking a look at these later. That guy's face almost looks like Gil from Street Fighter 3. Maybe it's just me, but th at least the blue, the blue half of his face. <laughs> I should say that. Um, okay, cool. Well, I've definitely... Let's see, what's the Capcom beat -em up bundle? Okay. So, there's also, of course, the artwork exclusive to this collection as well. It says view movies and the artwork gallery. I'm not quite sure what movies there are. Maybe you have to unlock those, though, so... All right. Well, there's the gallery. Let's go ahead and jump into offline mode first, and here we go. We've got seven games, I believe, in the, in the uh, collection. We've got Final Fight, The King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, Warriors of Fate, Armored Warriors, and Battle Circuit. So yeah, we've got seven games here. Um, I've played about half of them. Of course, Final Fight, I've played Captain Commando, King of Dragons, and Knights of the Round. I've played all those. These last three, though, I haven't. So let's go ahead and start with the mainstay and do Final Fight. Uh, that's cool, so you can change between the English and Japanese versions, and the logos actually change depending on uh, which version you have selected. Kind of like in the recent Mega Man X Legacy collections. Um, and you can choose which player you want to be. Nice. Alright, I'll stick with player one. There are also various game settings, so I can choose the difficulty level, uh, I can choose when I get a life bonus, uh, and I can choose the number of lives. Okay, neat. So it'll make it slightly easier um, than, than it would be if you were playing in the arcade. Uh, I'll keep it on the default setting right now. And let's go ahead and jump right in here. Uh, looks like we've got different settings that we can set. Well, let's go ahead and start playing first, actually. All right, so we've got Cody, Guy, and Hagar. Uh, let's, I gotta go with, with Guy, I think. All right, well, this is, here we go. This is indeed Final Fight. All right, nice. So this looks exactly like I would expect it to. Nice and pixelated. Um, let's see if there are any filters and such. All right, so I'm gonna take care of these basic mooks here. All right, let's see what we got. We got a how to play menu, we don't need that. Okay, it looks like there aren't different display size options. So we've got really just wallpaper options. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll just keep it to the nostalgic setting. Um, I will say I do kind of wish there were different screen size options at least. That seems to be kind of a standard feature in collections like this. It certainly was in the various Mega Man collections. I also think it's in the Disney Afternoon collection, so I'm not sure why it wouldn't be here. But, uh, yeah, bummer. So there's my super move that takes a little bit of my life away. Nice. Oh, they're trying to flank me. No, ho Hollywood got me. <laughs> I love these names. Axel, Bread, Hollywood. Oh, well, sorry, Hollywood. It's two different names. Oh, I missed the burger. Oh, well. All right. 
Come on, Brad, Axel, and Jake, let's do it. Oh, I got a pipe. Everything is better with a pipe in beat-em-ups. Oh no, G Orber got me. I do love how Guy can, like, throw these guys like they're no problem. Ah! Oh no! I already got killed. And this is what that difficulty setting is for. <laughs> Considering this game is, you know, was designed to be a coin muncher. Or a quarter muncher, I should say. I'll probably take a, a fairly quick pass through all these games. I'm not trying to show off, of course. I decided not to get the, the, the beef or the, the roast meat because uh, I don't really need it. And I'm not really going for points, so... Ah, I lost my katana! Come on, damn no. Stop being cheap. <laughs> there we go. He's probably going to try to jump kick me again. All right. Oh yeah, now he's gonna sit on his little subway thing and whistle and let his cronies come take care of me. Ah, oh, jerk. So, um, as usual, I can't hear the sound um, because I'm recording this Game & Watch, so I can only assume that the sound sounds like it's supposed to. Hopefully it does. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, I'm still a little disappointed that there are no... Ah! Damn it. Alright, there's that classic game over screen. So it's on free play. So it's on free play by default, which is cool. Um, and I can, I can switch characters if I want. Oh, God. Wow, they're just like completely cheesing me. <laughs> I mean, I know it's an arcade game, but damn. Alright, damn, no. Almost done. I just don't want him to... Okay, cool. I didn't want him to jump up on the little thing again and start whistling for more cronies. Alright, so there's round one clear. Nice. And I think that's a nice quick look at, uh, at Final Fight. So let's go ahead and quit. So I can save. Uh, I guess I might as well just save that really quick and just show off the save state stuff. So I can quit the game. Current progress will be lost. Let's go back into Final Fight then and load, load the game data, and there you go. I'm back at my save state, so at least save state support is here. Mega Man X Legacy Collection did not have the save state support that I wanted it to, uh, so it's nice to see it here. Um, although, I do still wish that there were different screen size options, but uh, that's neither here nor there. All right, let's check out, uh, let's check out the battle, or let's see. Let's check out the Japanese version of Battle Circuit. Let's do it. I've never played Battle Circuit, so let's see what this is all about. I've got five playable characters. Pink Ostrich. These sound like kind of like Maverick names from Mega Man X. Uh, let's go with... Uh, I actually kind of like Pink Ostrich. It's just such a random name and appearance for this character. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and skip past any cutscenes going on. So we are playing the Japanese version of Battle Circuit. Wow, she literally is riding a Pink Ostrich. I'm all about this. What in the world is this game? This is so weird. Huh. Yeah, I was not expecting this. Alright, oh, that power-up just destroyed everything on screen. Alright, nice. Oh, is this guy gonna attack me now? What? I love the animations. Like, the way this guy laughs at you is pretty cool. So I realized that I start the game and, like... Apparently I'm starting the game with a countdown. I'm like in a... I'm on... I'm, I'm in space with... I guess this craft is entering the atmosphere. That's quite a... Quite a way to start the game. This whole beginning to this game is incredibly explosive. Wait, that was all of stage one? The, are they all like that? Like a single scene? I mean, of course, having... Not having played this, I wouldn't necessarily know. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this cutscene. Oh, I can select my upgrade soft, okay. Uh, well, let's go with the burning arrow then. Oh wait, did I actually, I don't know if I actually selected it. I don't think I did. Oops, I, I pressed X, but you know what? Maybe the problem is I'm playing the Japanese version and usually the 
cancel and confirm buttons are reversed between the US and Japanese version of games. Um, I don't know if that's true across every game, but it's certainly true on like in like PlayStation and such. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I needed to press circle. All right. So okay, so this is a more traditional stage with actual scrolling. It looks like. Oh, I can do a, do a dash attack. Oh, okay. Would you please stop? There we go. Oh, I can do a little ostrich kick by running and then attacking. I just, I still love that I'm riding a pink ostrich and that's what I'm actually attacking with. Alright, nice, nice. Okay. This is a pretty cool game. I'm looking forward to checking out all these different beat-em-ups that I haven't played. And replaying the ones I have. I'm pretty sure I never made it to the end of The King of Dragons or Knights of the Round, even though I played them. I think I played them back on Super Nintendo. And I don't think I ever made it to the end of them as a kid, because they, they can be pretty brutal. Alright, so... I think I've shown off enough of Battle Circuit, because I have seven games to get through. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, so it does look as though every game has its own wallpaper, so that's cool. Um, kind of a minor touch, but that's still neat. Alright, so I, sh I checked out Battle Circuit. Uh, let's see here. Go back to the English version. Uh, let's go with good old Captain Commando here. And I'll go ahead and skip the intro. Alright, let's see. Um, I think I want to go with... Uh, well, you know what? No, this is the Capcom beat-em-up bundle. I was going to say Baby Commando, but you know what? This is Capcom. We gotta go with Captain Commando, because that's literally what they, what they named themselves after. Or, sorry, what, what Captain Commando is named after. So let's just go with good old, good old Cap here. Got a cool little kick there. Oh, and there's my special move. I didn't try doing my special move in uh, Battle Chasers. That's okay. Something to check out for later. All right, Captain Commando's just going nuts here. So far, so good. Oh, and I say that and then a giant mech busts onto the screen. Oh, I can ride in it. Nice. I don't remember this for some reason. Uh, I'll, I'll skip the meat for now. I don't need... It's not a big deal. If I was, like, playing for real, I'd get it, but because this is a Game & Watch, I'm just more concerned with showing off as much of the game as possible. Uh, but yeah, it's weird. I've definitely played Captain Commando, but I don't remember this mech, interestingly enough. But, it, of course, it's been a long time. Would you please stop knocking me out of it? Ah, I lost it. That's a that's a an appropriate name for that mook, Dick, because he knocked me out of that uh, mech. All right, Dolg. Whoa! Watch out for the missile. That doesn't seem fair. Nice. Okay, looks like I made it to the end of stage one. All right. So there's, there's one stage of, uh, there we go. There's one stage of, uh, Captain Commando. But, uh, again, let's go ahead and quit out of here because I have seven games to get through and not that much time to get through them. So, uh, let's check out, let's check out Warriors of Fate. All right. Game number four. And I will show off, I'll, I'll attempt to show off the... Oh, let's check out this dialogue here. Oh, man. Yeah, this dialogue is pretty great. It's definitely an early arcade uh, translation into English. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Subutai. Why not? Alright, Subutai. Let's see, have I played this before? No, I would have remembered being on horseback. I have not played this before. That's kind of cool. It's like, not not as cool as being on the, on the back of a pink ostrich, but still pretty cool. But you know, really, once you've once you've ridden a pink ostrich in a beat 'em up, really the only the only place to go is down, or the only direction to go is down. Oh man, Peking duck, nice. 
So there's no jumping. Instead, when you press, when I press X, I get my horse rears back, and I think it's like a dash button. Yeah. So that's interesting. There's no jumping. I wonder if, can you get knocked off your mount? Probably, I don't know. Let's keep playing and find out. Oh, that was cool. I like that contextual attack right there. Oh, let's, let's check out my special. Oh, nice. Okay, he just like swings around the spear. Yeah, so if I tap dash, or if I tap forward twice, I will not run in this game. Dash is mapped to X, which is, uh, interesting. I'm not sure if I've played another be arcade beat-em-up that uh, does that. Nice. I know, of course, like, in, in true Capcom beat-em-up fashion, really, really any beat-em-up fashion, using your special move does cost you a bit of your own life, so it's best not to use it too much as I use it again. <laughs> But, you know, it's good for crowd control. There we go. Do a little charge attack there. Alright, is it boss time? Looks like it. Gaidu. Alright, Gaidu, let's go. Oh, nice. I did a little, the little grab attack where I impale him on the spear. Alright. Alright. Oh no, I was doing... Okay, so you can be knocked off your mount. Okay, interesting. So that that changes everything. Oh, let's go... Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me! Trying to get those dumplings. Okay, so you can jump when you're not on your mount, which makes sense, of course. Oh, your mount runs away! I didn't know that. Okay. Did not know that your mount runs away. Oh, I died. It looks like I have one. Yeah, I have another life, of course. Oh, just barely two. I just barely died before I killed the boss. Oh, well. Okay, so you can lose your mount, and you can jump when you're not on your mount. So that's pretty cool. I assume you begin the next level with your mount back. Because it seems like that's considered... Oh, I guess you don't. Okay, you have to get your mount some other way. All right, cool. Well, that's one stage of Battle Chasers, so let's go ahead and quit out of that. Or, sorry, did I say... No, Warriors of Fate, not... And it's not even Battle Chasers, <laughs> Battle Circuit. <laughs> I can't get these names down. Okay, uh, let's check out the King of Dragons. All right, so this I have played uh, definitely on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and it looks like every game has their has its own, uh, you know, every game has its own difficulty setting, little settings you can tweak, so that's always nice. Alright, um, why don't we go with the... Why don't we go with the elf? Oh man, yeah, I remember this game. Quite a bit. And yeah, and I remember this being quite hard on the Super Nintendo. Um, I don't think I ever beat it. I came close several times. I do like the archer's ranged attacks here, but they, they do seem pretty weak, which I guess is the trade-off. Let's see, what's my special attack? There we go. It's a lightning blast thing. Ow. Don't shoot me with an arrow, that's my job. Oh, wow, I took so much damage from just those two hits. Yeah, I remember this game being hard. All right, time for the first boss. I love how short some of these first stages are. It's good for the Game & Watch, only only in the sense that, uh, you know, it gets me through all the games quickly. Ah! All right, I'm just going to try to bum-rush this guy because keeping my distance is not working. Oh, the, any, the hallmark of any good beat-em-up. Bosses flash when you damage them. Ow, ow, ow. Nice. Elf defeated the Orc King. All right. I remember the different playable characters in this game all being appreciably different, so it should be a lot of fun to uh, play through this game as different characters, if I remember correctly. Two, treasure in an old castle. All right, I got my, my leveled-up bow here. I think it leveled up. 
I think that's what happened at the end of uh, that level, well, level one. Oh, I, l I just leveled up there, okay. So I guess both your weapon and your character can level up separately. Although it doesn't really feel like my bow's been made any better. <laughs> Still feels kind of dinky. Oh man, I'm getting surrounded. And then this, what does that do? Oh, okay, that just, yeah, that's right. So you destroy those crystals. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, so you destroy those crystals to do, like, screen-clearing attacks. Wow, that was a really short boss, or a really short level. <laughs> All right, seems like I want to keep... Oh, well, I was going to say, seems like I want to keep my distance from this guy, but, uh, apparently not. All right, I didn't get to change my character this time. Not in this game. I should probably be breaking that crystal. There we go. Oh, that did a lot. Totally worth it. Oh, and the arena changed. I don't remember this at all. Either way, it doesn't seem to have... Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, I had, again, one hit away from... Well, I had died already, so it's not as big a deal, but... Uh... All right, so there's the Minotaur. Uh, that's two levels of that game, so I think I'm good on that. Um, at least for the Game & Watch. I do want to go back and play it. Uh, all right, next is uh, Armored Warriors. Uh, let's check that out. This is, no this is another of the, of the games I have not played before, so... I'm just checking out this uh, random story really quick. I love how it's scrolling by so fast, it's like not even worth reading. All right, so I got Rash, Justice, Gray, and Siren. I think I gotta go with the giant blue robot piloted by a, by a guy named Justice. I mean, come on. His name is Justice. Of course I gotta pick him. That's just ridiculous. All right, so I'm traveling from the Earth to the Raya. I think that's what that's called. I just love the... Oops, oops, my bad. I was trying to uh, skip this cutscene, but it doesn't seem like you can. All right, mission one, deserted town. I, I can't wait to get some friends together and play through some of these games. This is going to be... I, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and the games all play perfectly well. I mean, there's... yeah. Yeah, so far, I mean, the, the emulation seems to be pretty spot on. Um, input lag isn't bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't really perceive any input lag, really. Uh, it feels good to play on PS4. Yeah, I mean, again, this is the PS4 version, so I can't uh, speak for the Switch version, which is what I suspect many of you uh, watching this are going to end up getting, if you get this at all. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, we couldn't get the Switch version for this Game & Watch. But uh, I, this doesn't seem like the kind of game that, it would, that would have major differences between platforms, at least. Nice. This is cool. I like it. Oh, so, okay, so Circle actually does your gun. This one's really cool. I like the way you can, like, glide around, and you have, like, differently sized enemies. You have the mechs that are as big as you are, and you have, like, the tiny human-sized enemies. Yeah, like them. This is cool. Yeah, this is one uh, I'm glad I have not played before, so I can kind of experience it for the first time now, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, this feels a little different from the rest of their games, or from, from the rest of the games in this collection. I like that giant katana that extended out from, yeah, that one. That's cool. Oh, nice. Wow, that gun just uh, took care of business, huh? All right, I think I've run out, though. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. I'm close to dying again. I mean, not that I'm acting like I have, like I'm spending quarters. It's not, it's not as though it matters if I die at all. Ah. Yeah, I know. I'm, like, I'm acting as if death matters at all right now. Yeah, that gun is super helpful. It makes sense why it's limited, because it's probably a little too good. Oh, okay. Man, what a jerk. Okay, got him. I was almost about to die again. These games all seem to be tailored such that you're you're really close to losing your first credit uh, at around the first boss. 
And I, I came really close that time again, but this time I actually won. I didn't die. Or, you know, won before I died. There's definitely a little more story in this game, too. Um, and it doesn't seem as though you can skip the story scenes. You just kind of have to watch them play out. But, uh, okay, so there's one uh, level of that game. And let's go ahead and check out the last game in the collection, or the last game that I have yet to play for this Game & Watch, and that is Knights of the Round. I love the art on the, uh, on the, bo on the border art. That's really cool. All right, here we go. So I've got Lancelot, Arthur, and Percival. Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with Percival. I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell Percival. I can't remember. I think it's P-E-R-S-I-V-A-L, if I remember correctly. But again, that's just kind of representative of this era in, uh, you know, in arcade translations. Yeah, so Percival has the axe. I remember that. So this is one I have played before. And I, I like this game. At least I remember liking it. Um, but I also, again, remember not ever quite making it to the end. Ow, ow, ow. That's what I get for just trying to press circle once, just to see if anything would happen. Swordman. I like how that enemy's name is just Swordman. Kind of reminds me of Mega Man 8. Nice, did that little running chop there. Should try out the uh, special move, too. That didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Alright, time for Scorn, the first boss. I think he's the first boss. Come on, Scorn. Come on. Ah! He laughed at me! What a jerk! Ah! Alright. Should be able to, uh, take care of this guy before he takes out my second life. Of course I say that, but... There, there we go, yeah. Stage one clear. Percival has defeated Scorn. Alright. So yeah, pretty much all these games seem to be quite fun in their own right. I mean, of course, the, you know, a lot of the tension is taken out when you have free play on every game. But, you know, that's kind of what these collections are for. So yeah, so far, I'd say the emulation is spot on. Hopefully the sound is spot on as well. I can't hear it too well, but yeah. Um, because, only because I'm recording, I can't hear the sound. But I assume it's also good. Um, the controls feel great. No input lag that I can discern. Really, my only major complaint so far is that, uh... That's such a boring super move. Um, really, my only complaint so far is the fact that there is no option to change the screen size. I wish there was. Um, it would be nice to have an option that is a little smaller. Kind of the, the original size option. Um, kind of like what you have in, uh, Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Well, really, all the Legacy Collections. But, uh, yeah, that just seems like such a weird thing not to have in this game, or in this collection, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, that's really my only, uh, complaint so far. So, okay, I think I've shown off enough of Knights of the Round. Let's go ahead and quit the game. And now, we're running up on 30 minutes here, so I think it's about time to, uh, head out. But, before I do that, let's check out, oops. I do want to try to show off the online mode. Now, the game isn't out yet, so I don't know if I'm going to find anybody. Um, so if I don't find anybody, don't necessarily take that as a... as an indicator that the game doesn't work, or the online doesn't work. It just It's just not out yet. But let's try Final Fight, because I feel like that is one of the likeliest games to be played online. All right, could not find a game session to join. I guess I'll just go through all these and see if I can find any. Yeah, okay. Doesn't look like it. It, it may be that the servers aren't even up yet, so keep in mind, again, the game isn't out, uh, and that could very well be why the online is not finding any people to match me with. All right, so I tried every... Well, let's try the Japanese version, I guess, of Final Fight. No? Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, that just means that uh, I got to show off all seven games in offline mode, and... Unfortunately, I can't show off online, but uh, hopefully the online play ends up being as smooth and as uh, faithful as the offline play seems to be. So 
This has been the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It comes out very soon. Um, I believe it comes out this week, actually. Yeah, so you'll be able to pick this up soon if you like what you've seen. But uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. And keep it on Game Explain for more on the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle and all things gaming. Until next time, guys. Bye.